Hey everybody, my name is Adventure Elite and I make uh, travel adventure videos in the Spanish speaking world in both English and Spanish. And I just want to start this video by saying, um, man, I, I feel for the English who lost last night. I was rooting for the English. Uh, my last name is Smith. I have a lot of English blood in me. Man, that was tough to watch, uh, especially because Italy eliminated Spain and I was cheering for Spain previously. But anyways, this video that I'm bringing you today is a little bit of a different video than I normally do. But as I said, I do travel style videos, adventure ones, and a lot of times when you're traveling, you stay in hostels, hotels, etc. And so I was traveling in the Canary Islands and uh, we were looking for lodging in a town called Los Cristianos. You can see the previous videos. Uh, I was in Los Cristianos with that American girl, Alexis. And basically what happened, we were looking on booking.com because there wasn't many options on Hostel World, which I usually use. And as such, we came across a, what appeared to be normal hostel with decent beds, decent rooms, cleanly, okay reviews. And it was only like 15 euros a night. So fast forward, we get to the place and there's a lot of red flags. And this is like kind of a video, you know, I, I, I would not recommend anyone to stay at this place. And here I'll explain why and you'll see why after. First red flag is, you go into a grocery store and there's an Indian man who like owns it and he owns the hostel or whatever. And what they do is they go, oh, okay, you know, here you can stay in this room. So they bring you up to the room and you notice, wow, it's like just a, a normal apartment that's low quality, it smells. Um, there's a lot of, you know, sketchy people staying there. It's almost like a squatting house. That's the vibe I got. So you get there and he brings you to the room and they are she brought a Russian woman brought us to the room. They weren't even Spanish. That was a big red flag, right? They weren't Spanish business owners in the Canary Islands. And you get there and there's like other people staying in the room and it smells that's not clean. And they go, you can stay here or we got a private room for you for 20 euros a person. So we go, okay, like I'd rather, this doesn't seem like a great environment. I'd rather go to a cleaner area where I have more privacy for only 20 euros. A person right so we go up they bring us up to the other private room and the state of it is even worse there's bed bugs there's stains it's not clean the the frid refrigerator is rotting it has a rotting smell it's just i've never seen a hostel this bad and so it's not even a hostel it's basically a crappy abandoned apartment that they use they post on booking.com they uh, i would say even trick people into going there thinking they're getting a good value and they bring you, they make you feel uncomfortable so that you pay more for the private room, 20 euros a person. So me and my buddy Jacob, we ended up paying 40 euros for this area that you're going to see next. And it was just smelly, you know, we just wanted a bed to stay. So we ended up not spending time there. And the, the problem is, is that they trick you into staying there. You know, if they tell you it's bad quality, if they tell you it, there's bed bugs and it's not clean, that's one thing. But they don't tell you and uh, it's right next to this right, you know, this nice tourist area where you think, oh, this has got to have some standards, you know, Spanish hospitality and tourism has to have higher standards than this, which it does. You know, usually you have good hostel and hotel experiences in Spain. Okay, so with that said and done, Let's take a look at the footage that I was able to grab uh, here and you can see um, just kind of what happened here. And I'm gonna post the booking link below so that if you are ever traveling to the Canary Islands, Tenerife, Los Cristianos, do not stay there. Do yourself a favor. Don't waste your money. You, it, it, It's disgusting, you know? Um, and I've, I've stayed in bad hostels in Costa Rica and Panama and Colombia. You know, I've been to some bad hostels, but if I see a decent hostel that accords to the reviews, I give credit where it's due. You can see on my videos, I have hostels uh, in some of my videos and I'm giving a lot of credit to them because they usually do a great job wherever you are. Okay, let's check out the footage. Wow, that was quite an experience with the hostel. So we had to like, it's inside the supermarket. Hola chicos. And uh, adios. And now she's bringing us back to the room, so I guess a little sketchy, but whatever. <laughs> We're budget travelers here. 
All right, so it appears like we're in some uh, apartment building. It's a little, uh, not too clean, but. <laughs> hey, there's a, oh, oh, looks nice here. Let's see what we have here. Oh, we got a terraza. Okay, not, not so bad. Not so bad. All right, here we go. Hey. Hola. 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 ¿Cómo están? Muy bien, gracias. Do you go to look at the room? What? You want to look at the other room? Ah, sí, sí, sí. Vamos. Por si acaso. All right. Well, we checked into our hostel and uh, the only redeeming quality about this hostel is the view and the proximity to the beach. There's a rather large beach right there, so that's good. Um, and this is Los Cristianos, but man, kind of what a, what a sham, what a disappointing experience. So the first red flag is that it's like you check in in a supermarket, but um, anyways, it was on booking.com and it was the cheapest uh, option we had. So let's give you a little tour of, uh, at least we have this all to ourselves. but yeah, beds, not well done. Mattresses are disgusting. Worst hostel I've ever seen in Spain. What a disgrace. Now we're staying in here and we got sheets and everything, but like, oh my God, I've been in hostels in a lot of countries. This is basically just an empty apartment that they turned into a crappy hostel. And the bathroom, okay, the bathroom seems kind of normal. All right, but, uh, Wow, absolute, I've never stayed in a worse hostel and I'm pretty flexible. I've stayed in a lot of hostels before, but, oof. Do not stay here, I'll post the address. Whatever you do, avoid this place. And I usually don't say that about places. And uh, I guess the only consolation is this terrace here. Oh my God. Worst hostel in, Canary Islands, Spain. Oh. So there it is, you guys. You can see the quality was, you know, really bad. And I don't want to sound like a spoiled brat. Um, I stayed in a lot of bad hostels, but the difference is, you know, they're ten dollars, fifteen dollars, um, and you can see the place before you stay there. What happened in this one is they get you to this town, this beach town, Los Cristianos, where there's not a lot of lodging options except for hotels that are a little more expensive and we were on a budget. And so you get there, you have no other option and then they tell you, boom, this is what you have and they, they sort of um, pressure you into getting this room that you saw that has cockroaches, it smells terrible, it doesn't have a working toilet or a shower, um, it has dirty mattresses and you just feel like you're not in a safe environment, especially by Spain standards. Now, if you go to some other countries, maybe third world countries, you have that notion in mind that you're gonna be facing situations where you do stay in places that might be like that. So that's completely different. But for the Canary Islands and Spain standards, this is totally unacceptable. And I hope that uh, no one else in, uh, finds themselves in this situation. With that being said, I'll see you guys on the next video. I have videos coming from Malaga, Spain. I stayed with some subscribers that invited me down there. That was an awesome time. I'm gonna show you a couple things, the beaches there, Castile Hilbrafaro. And so I'll see you guys on the next video. Hasta luego.